What's up guys, Tiktine here and I am back again with a brand new video. So before I begin this video, as always, I want to thank you all so much for watching this one. If you have subscribed to the channel, thank you. If not, please consider doing so. The subscribe button is right below that like button. Also, if you want to like this video on the way. So yeah, so in today's video, we're going to be actually taking a look at the Alcatel 7. So we're going to be doing an unboxing and first impressions. And it has been a while since I did a phone on Alcatel. Reason being is, I don't know, for some reason they've been kind of under the radar lately, so let's see what's going on with this phone. Okay, so it's just a standard box, nothing too special about it. Let's just take a look at the specs in the back. So you have a 6 inch Full HD Plus display and I think, it, so this phone actually supports that 18 by 9 aspect ratio. Again, it's incredible to see phones with this type of price, which I believe, which this phone should be around $150 so that's really good to see that budget phones are making the move to that 18 by 9 aspect ratio and I've discussed that a lot in the uh, in past budget phones so that's really good to see so 6 inch full HD plus display a dual camera setup so 112 megapixel sensor with a 2 megapixel and the 2 megapixel I guess is supposed to help with this portrait mode and you also get dual tone flash an 8 megapixel wide angle front facing camera nice 32 gigabytes of storage, 2 gigabytes of RAM, a really high, uh, a really high clock, 2.5 gigahertz octa-core processor. Usually, budget phones are around 1.9 to 2.1 gigahertz, so that's really nice to see. And uh, one thing that I have to say, 2 gigabytes of RAM is kind of low, right off the top, right off impressions. I don't know if they have some of the best RAM management out there, but I doubt it. But hey. So I wish it was just a 3 gigabytes of RAM or 4, that would have been much better. And also as for the dual camera, so really the portrait mode is to me kind of a gimmick. Even in flagships, they still they still have a hard time pulling off a really bokeh shots, which is that one subject is in focus and everything else and everything else is really blurred out in the background. And that's kind of hard to do right off software or just by adding an additional camera so yeah i mean i'll be testing out the camera of course but that's just what we get in specs so let's just go ahead and open the box and i already peeled off the tabs on the sides so yeah and right off on the front it tells you like where everything is positioned at and you do get an sd card slot and yeah, that's just how the phone looks like. So here's your dual camera setup as well as your fingerprint sensor and you also have your Alcatel logo right here on the bottom and some information of how to remove. Uh, it's telling you basically that the back is not removable. You need the SIM ejector tool to access your micro SD and your SIM card. Okay, so let's put it to the side real quick and see what, real quick what else we get so we have your sim card some warranty information a sim removal tool your wall adapter and doesn't say whether it supports quick charge or not so i'm not really sure about that and your micro your usb-c all right so i'm glad that alcatel made the move to usb-c so that's one thing that i'm excited for um like i said all companies really should make the move to USB-C, and I've talked about that so much in the past. Okay, so let's turn it on. Okay, so while it's turning on, let me real quick walk you through the phone and the ports on the phone. So on the bottom you have your, so on the bottom you have your speaker, USB-C, nice. On the top, I'm glad, I'm glad they kept this. You have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. As well as, I believe, an, uh, uh, an IR blaster to control your TV. I haven't seen this in a while. Flagships kind of cut it off. So here it is. So the setup is complete. And I forgot to say that on the right hand side you do have your power button and your volume up and down. And they're really, uh, they're really tactile and clicky so that's pretty good. And right off the bat, so it is kind of heavily skinned in my opinion with Alcatel skin. Now if you like that or not, that's just up to you. Me personally. Uh, I don't know like for example the camera icon it looks kind of I don't know it looks kind of off kind of uh, kind of cartoony in a way and just the way that their custom apps look like I don't know I'm not really a big fan so far but it's a smooth experience though it's a smooth phone and nothing a launcher really just install a launcher and it will fix that real quick so like opening up the phone app as you guys can see it's, it's quick 
the messaging app also really quick so that's nice and the kind of your uh, capacitive screen uh, your on-screen buttons they're kind of kind of they're sort of close together so you're back in your home and you're multitasking I don't know they could have have a, they could have had them a little bit spread out but yeah but it is what it is so let me do a quick sample picture let's just open up the camera app see how the camera app looks like no not now so right off the bat the camera app looks really simplistic so here you have your shutter button as well as your recording your, your uh, video recording capability as well as a couple of filters on the side and some setting options over here and I will be definitely making sure that I talk about more in depth on it so I'll, I'll definitely t test it out in a full review so stay tuned for that but one thing that I gotta say is that it's kind of it has it kind of drops frames when um, in the viewfinder so uh, I don't know I can't really speak on the quality just yet and hold on so it also has a trouble okay there you go so it, I had to double tap it a couple of times to get it to focus so let's try and take a picture of 3 to 1 okay so fairly quick um, didn't take a lot of time to take, to take a picture and right off the viewfinder the picture isn't half bad but I don't know why this there's this shutter lag um, on the screen on the viewfinder when you take a picture so that's kind of I don't know that's kind of weird hopefully I mean that could be fixed with a software update um, so yes yeah, it shouldn't be nothing major if they update this phone so the other thing that I want to test out real quick is the speaker quality so let's open up the youtube app real quick and i mean it's actually a really quick phone so you do have the support for the 18 by 9 when you crop in the display for this immersed experience so it says is at its highest volume as you guys can see so yeah let's see three two one So I can already give you right off first impressions. The speaker is, uh, it's kind of, it doesn't really get that loud and does get distorted a lot when you put it at the highest volumes. And the thing is, um, it does have a good bass though, like I noticed that just now, but don't let it fool you. This isn't really a stereo speaker, only the right hand side is the speaker. But yeah, the speaker, I don't know, it might be one of its weak points. But it is what it is. Overall, I mean, design-wise, it's a really good design. I'm kind of happy with it. But here's what I noticed, though, about phones that use the 18 by 9 aspect ratio, especially the budget ones. Other than, other than the so other than the LG Style 04 and the LG Q7 Plus, the like something like the Motorola phone, the Moto E5 uh, Plus, and like this phone, this Alcatel phone, I feel like they're moving into this kind of they're 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 tall phones but they're not really that wide which isn't which isn't which is not really necessarily a bad thing because you can still end up using it in one hand so that's really good and overall i mean right off impressions hey i'm impressed all right so other than the kind of choppy viewfinder on the camera and the tinny speaker this is a promising budget phone okay so let me end this impressions unboxing here and I want to thank you all so much for watching this one. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers. If we could do that before the end of the year, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, as soon as we hit that, expect giveaways to be coming through. So yeah, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more videos. And